least it'll get us going for this, uh, hopefully beyond just the uh, making of fuel. These are green going up and down real nicely, so I don't think I need this one on right now. Uh, save some fuel there. Um, but yeah, I've got this hooked up and ready to go. The Arboretum and the Logger. You know, remember originally that was our whole intention. So now we finally have the power system going to it. Haven't turned it on yet because I still got to put the ingredients in here. Um, it wants humus and trees and sand. So here's some sand. Okay. Or maybe the sand is the byproduct. That's what it is. Um, here's trees. Um, right. Uh, so now we've got to make some humus. So I haven't made it yet. I think I know how you do it. Um, let's see. You got some humus right here. So it's eight sand with a compost or a fertilizer in the middle. Fertilizer is what I'm ready to make right now because it is an appetite between sands. Uh, and I have got both of those. The, let's go back to humus. Compost uh, either requires wheat around dirt or ash around dirt. And this is a, this is a product of the peat uh, system, which we haven't got into yet. Um, that seems like a waste right now, but if we run out of appetite, that would be the thing to do. So let's make some fertilizer. Uh, I got some sand right here uh, and some more sand. I just macerate some stone for now. And then the uh, appetite is over here. So let's make a full stack of this stuff. Uh, or however much this gives us, actually. I think it's going to be more than a stack. It's going to give us eight. So that's a lot of fertilizer. Um, so let's let's stash some of that in here for now. And then let's make some... Let me need some room in here. Okay, so... Yeah, let's get some dirt. Let's get another... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks of dirt. So let's make a full thing here. Put the fertilizer in the middle. And then put stacks of dirt all the way around. Um, let's see how much that's going to give us. That's going to give us eight. So, blam. We got lots of humus. So let's put those in here. Now I know one of the first things this does when you power it up is clears the area around it. Hopefully it's not going to clear this area or else uh, we won't have any power. So uh, there goes your humus. And the last thing we're going to do is the logger uh, pumps out stuff into a chest. So we're going to put the chest next to it right now. We could also pipe out of it, but we'll start like that for now. So finally, I think we're ready to go with all the prerequisites that came before this. Uh, we got these two. That one's full, and that one's almost full. So we're good to go. I don't know if we need these two engines. I'm going to turn them on, both on to start with, just to get things really rolling. Um, and remember that this is just the precursor to... Uh, building the barrels uh, for the sorting system for the quarry and getting that going again. Anyway, let's see what happens when we turn these on. Uh, hopefully those are getting power now. I've got the wooden conductive pipes right here and it's going into the uh, gold conductive pipes. Oops, here we go. Whoa! It's building with the humus, and it's planting already. Yeah, and it didn't tear up the torches, and it didn't tear up the power system. Um, it probably just cleared stuff right where the humus is going, and I didn't even notice. Yeah, I can see those seeds right there. Awesome. So our automatic forest is working. I think we can safely go in here. 
and see what's happening. It's used up all the trees that I've given it, all the saplings, uh, which looked like I put in just enough uh, with one extra. So then let's see what happens from here. Um, I think the growth of it uh, is this going to happen naturally, I guess. Um, the yeah, the humus, I don't know if that accelerates it or not. Um, uh, how are we doing here? Let's fill that with some more humus. We're going to eventually have to pipe humus into it. Um, and uh, once we get some saplings, we'll put those in too. And we'll have those piping in as well. But for now, we're just going to do it manually until this gets going. Um, so we're cruising got our automatic tree farm so I'm just gonna let it run for a while and come back to y'all when I see something happening this looks like as good of a perch as any hang out up here and watch the trees grow <laughs> and see if the oil goes down um, from a certain distance it doesn't show the oil in there but I think as I get closer it's actually still all full of oil. By the way, I don't want to get too far over here though because I don't want it to uh, engage with these guys. It's all very risky having this out here as it is. Well, it's starting to happen. Trees, as soon as they grow, they're pretty much gone. I actually have to look more carefully because I actually haven't seen any logs yet. I just see the uh, the, des the the despawning leaves, um, but the chest has uh, 14 logs in it, and I've been just taking the saplings out and uh, keeping that filled because uh, it you know we only had one left before, um, and it's planting them, so it's happening. And as soon as the uh, leaves despawn and make a sapling, I see it disappear. i got to keep my eyes peeled for a uh, tree actually growing. I guess as, as the trees age, and the, the system here ages, uh, more trees will be growing more often. Because um, there will be a certain number of trees that have been here long enough to do it. And I, I lit all the way around the inside and the outside just to make sure there was enough light um, even at night for them to grow just trying to see if we can spot one there we go boom so a little shorty tree that was it and this wood went in here and a sapling uh, it's used a little humus, uh, but not that much yet. It's one per tree. Yeah, so no more punching wood. That is a thing of the past. Hopefully this one tree farm here will be enough to supply us. And eventually we'll get it automatic, so I don't even have to uh, tend to the saplings. Um, if that's necessary, we'll see. The, uh, once this is uh, totally full of saplings, it may last for a while. Uh, it's, uh, it can hold 128 saplings, so not quite sure how long that would take to use up. And the engines are running great. This seems to be humming fine along with one engine. You can see I've got this down to one engine too, which I think is plenty. I think two engines on either is just wasting fuel. These are green and happy. Um, these are definitely keeping full of fuel and water. I see a little bit of water lacking there, but I think it just needs to use a certain amount before it fills up again. Uh, that one's fine. Hopefully it'll top off again. I'll check it in a second. Um, still not accumulating any fuel because, uh, I think the volume of the pipes 
is pretty significant and you can see that this pipe has been slowly filling and I use the uh, the gold uh, waterproof transport pipe again which has even a greater volume than the stone I think stone actually is fine for filling the engines so I could have done it but at least I put this one on the tree farm uh, which is going to be ongoing so I think we're investing a certain amount of oil just in the volume of filling this and once I predict that once this gets down to here um, this is going to start filling and then we'll actually start getting some surplus besides just what's in the pipes. But even that, I think, could run the, the tree farm for quite a while. Yep, that just filled up. And now you can see the uh, fuel pouring from the top and a very thin layer of it on the bottom. Um, and whenever this empties a little bit, this stops. Um, but yeah, our pipes are full, uh, which is a surplus of a kind, and we're just at the point now where we're going to start to accumulate some surplus. There it goes. So that's relieving. Uh, it looks like it forever it wasn't going to fill up. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to take quite a bit, uh, it seems like, to get to uh, 2,800,000. <laughs> but at least we have capacity. I tried putting the chest next to the arboretum to see if I could input stuff into it, but it actually outputs that way too. Um, and just for the record, uh, 12 sand came out, which I can't put back. But the sand is a great counter of how many trees have been done so far. So, so far it has harvested 12 trees. And got a stack of wood and two apples. You could actually live off this too for food if you needed to. And by the way, the uh, aqueous accumulators are working fine uh, without the benefit of these redstone engines. So I can take these back. When I was running short before, I put these on to see if that was the problem, but it was actually the volume of the pipe that was the issue. So this definitely needed the uh, golden pipe. And with that, it's fine. And they're still full. So is that. And so is that. So it's been maybe seven hours of AFK time since uh, my last update. And the pipe has finally gone dry after all this time uh, of the well being dry. The pipe is finally done. Ooh, <laughs> don't want to lose anything down there. I will plug that hole. There we go. Get all my stuff back. Yeah, so it's time to take things apart. Um, actually, this line is going to get extended. There is a well uh, right over there somewhere if the world would load. Let's see if we can see it. There it is. There's one there, and another over there, and another over there. So that's the next one to go for. Um, and even after the uh, pipe went dry, the tank was full for the longest time. Partly because we have such a big tank. And uh, this has been my little AFK spot, by the way. <laughs> Up on top of the tank. And uh, keeping things running. The refinery is still ticking away. Doing its thing. Uh, running on the one engine that is still nice and happy and not exploding or overheating thanks to our aqueous accumulators. And then the uh, iron tank down here is starting to get uh, a significant level, you know, for the size of this. I mean, remember, this thing's huge. Uh, and that's exactly how full it is there. Uh, I don't know exactly what these numbers correspond to, but... Uh, 395,400 and, and, and ticking out of 2,800,000. So we've gone past the 10% uh, mark, going towards the 20% mark. So that's pretty good. Uh, we're actually up multiple lines here, uh, two and a half lines out of 16. So yeah, we're getting some fuel. 
Um, and with uh, f three more oil wells to go, there's a chance maybe we might fill this. Uh, and we've been using it quite a bit too. Um, I don't know exactly what the usage is, like how much fuel these engines take. Um, but that one's been running constantly, and this one's been running constantly. And the lager arboretum combo is just doing amazingly well. I've never got so much work done uh, while AFK. I had to empty this uh, out several times and move it over to this one. Um, so that's a lot of wood, a lot of saplings. We're going to be able to make a lot of barrels out, out of that. So uh, it saved me and Nilo a lot of tree chopping. So I just come over here occasionally and fill this up. It takes quite a while. Uh, I don't know if you saw that, but the tree was being chopped down just now. That was pretty cool. Um, so this thing is just great. So I can't wait to make the rest of the farms and get those going. Um, but yeah, so this has been using some of that fuel, but uh, not not so much that it's not accumulating. So uh, yeah, we're going to have plenty of fuel to keep these going. And at a certain point, we're just going to have so much wood that it's just time to turn it off unless we come up with massive projects uh, having to do with wood. I mean, the barrels are definitely going to be a big one. And those use logs, so each barrel is going to use uh, seven logs and then uh, another, probably another one for um, uh, for making the, uh, the the slabs. So so you know each barrel is seven logs and a and a, and a half slab. I guess they're just slabs, huh? Not because they're not half a slab. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's the update. Oh, there's one. There it is. And then the logger is going to recognize that it's here in just a second and go chop 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 there it is we even get the nice little particle effects and it used up all the fertilizer turned it to sand but gave it another humus block um, and I think you know I realize we're actually generating sand from soil uh, when we do this so it's kind of interesting anyway uh, I'm gonna go do that piping to the uh, to the other wells um, and I'm hoping actually before we start pumping into this again, I want to put the refinery underground, maybe just extend the room that the tank is in and go that way because, uh, you know, I just don't want industrial stuff all over the savanna, trying to keep things looking kind of pastoral even though they're going to be super high tech. Things like nano blades, which I've been loving, one hit on creepers every time. Uh, so who needs knockback when you just knock them out? Um, but yeah, we're going to put this under, and that will also make it less vulnerable to those creepers. I have been doing a little bit of uh, perimeter making with this cobblestone. Uh, I was trying to make it kind of natural. It's looking a little bit too jagged. I'm going to clean that up at some point. But just kind of establishing the perimeter here. We're going to, um, in the end, we're leaving a good amount of space that way to be the bad land. So all that we're going to let still be dark um, so we can go out and hunt and get creepers and stuff but this side of the uh, the ravine here to the glacier ice base uh, this is all going to be lit up got to figure out strategies for lighting up the glacier that's gonna be a little little tricky but uh, yeah this is all safe zone here so we're gonna keep that uh, protected because we've got valuable things here like a huge store of oil um, yeah so that's my check-in things are going very well Thank you.